Two. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and it's Odeon again. Except this time in the finals. I think we fought him in like the semi-finals last time. Uh, I do want to check though. What did Gemini Elf... Okay. So Gemini Elf has pretty much as bad of stats as... Or as bad of Cress as... Where was it? Meteor Dragon, which we got last episode. But I would argue Meteor, Meteor Dragon's a little better because movement. Uh, and just better stats overall. And the fact that we don't really have any dragons. So it might be useful to have one. Uh... I mean, it's going to be hard to move because it's flying, but that could also work to our advantage if we can just fly over someone with a bunch of movement, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'll drop Gemini Elf for Meteor Dragon. Just see how that works out. Alright, I get to go first. Lovely. Uh, so, you... You. Nope. You. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. Uh, we'll start this way, I guess. Just because it's more convenient. Almost got that summon on. The level 3 summon on turn 1. That would have been interesting. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, that's fine. We'll need that, probably. Maybe I should. I'm gonna save the other time machine for when I finish this side. Now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, Let's do... Let's just do that for now. When I finish this side, then I'll try to summon the other time machine on the other side as well. Because I think that's probably just a better strat. Oh, level 3 went with an item. Hmm. What could it be? Probably the most effective thing would be Exploding Disc, but... <clears throat> oh god. Ah, Larva Moth. Let's go. Okay. Okay, now he's rolling ones, which is interesting. Okay, putting himself open on two sides. And it's dragon. Okay, I have one dragon in my deck, literally. So it's probably going to do you more harm than it's going to do to me. Uh, wait, what do you have? Oh yeah, you've got movement too, so. Probably this. Okay, it's fine. Morning Dragon. Yeah, see, you're already using a dragon <laughs> where I wouldn't have, so... Grand Stunling, that's fine. Quit. Okay. <laughs> that's... that's... fine. Crests are fine. Another summon. It's fine. Not worried about it. I mean, he's at, le he's at least kind of keeping things compact, so... Okay, there we go. Uh, what? Alright. I want to put it here, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
that's fine. I don't care. Okay, I can see where my next summon's gonna go. <laughs> I'm actually going to go... Uh, we're actually going to go with... This, and this, and another one of these. Because I want to have someone who can actually hit the Komori Dragon on this side. That, I think, will make things easier for me. Okay, no something. Good. Alright. There we go. Just like I wanted. Alright. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay, and that blocks, blocks off that side entirely. Well. Wow. And... Now we can kill this thing. Yeah, we've seen it. Now we can work on the other side, which means we can throw our time machine back in the mix. Okay, so time machine and two larva moth. That's what I want. Nope, two larva moth. Okay. Uh, oh wait, actually I could have gone, instead of the one larva moth, I could have gone something else, but that's fine. This way, yep. Perfect. Now we've got one on either side. Alright. Now, Larva Moth. Uh, we kind of need movement, so... Another Larva Moth. Here. Perfect. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -huh. We want to put it this way. And the next summon will connect, looks like. Assuming no summons from him, which seems possible. Could I have moved? I probably could have moved Battle Warrior to attack, couldn't I? Oh well. Let's get some more movement, eh? Okay. One more of these. Oh, actually. That is not entirely what I expected. Uh, what if I did... I could do that. Maybe that or this? This feels like it's better. Yeah. Because I don't think. I guess you could get something in there. So I'd have to go like that, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, yeah, now we have the movement to see whatever this is. That's kind of what I figured. But now it's out of the way, so we're good there. Okay. One more summon, that's all I really want. And some movement crests, which we just got some, so that's pretty neat. Okay, not quite there yet. Nope. One more summon for him. Okay, okay. It's relatively easy to block. Uh, I don't have any anyone flying currently, so that's fine. 
Not a problem with me. Okay. More movement. Uh, one more. Wait, no. Uh, two more. I think. Ooh, level three. That's a little spooky. But, we can handle it. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so here's... Um, this will mostly block it off. There's one more summon we need, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we only have two level ones left. That's that's fine. You can you can do that. I'm not concerned. Eh. Ouch. Rose petals. <laughs> okay. Uh, now level threes. Uh, with movement, preferably. So you, and you, and yeah, probably you. Hey, there's the three movement we needed. Okay, uh, and let's go ahead and finish this off. By closing up this area. Rabbit Horseman can absolutely kill Gemini Elf, but right now I am more concerned with getting someone to the Die Master. I am. Because hey, guess what? He doesn't have anyone close enough to stop me. It's <laughs> uh, good. No movement? Okay. I mean, it kind of makes sense. What would you even move to? And speaking of more movement... Uh, these guys die. I think he throws his axe, is that right? Yeah. Just wanted to see. And get rid of that one while I could. Just in case. Linda <laughs> Bar. summon. Uh, let's summon Meteor Dragon, just because we've never done it before. Uh, huh? What? No, the flying's being prevented. It's actually kind of beneficial to us. Uh, very good, very good. We got Pendulum Machine, which is not great, but we'll take it, I guess. Alrighty. So that's the Corridor of the Dead. Uh, let's do some trading here. Okay. Wait. Wait, no, not both of them. Just one. And, ooh. These are pretty expensive. Maybe it was worth winning one. Uh, what? Okay. I'll take that. Alright. So, oh wait, I did want to buy, potentially. Okay. Uh, so there is one die, at least, that I was a little curious about. Uh, oh, that's new. 
Great Moth. Very expensive, but could be good for us. This one. Jellyfish. Uh, this might actually be more useful for us than Mammoth Graveyard, depending on the crest. So I kind of want to see about using it. Mm -hmm. Potentially. More or less just see what crest it has. Uh, Barrel Dragon, that's new. Level 4. 10k. Pretty good stats. But no effect in... Uh, we definitely do not have those funds, so. We're gonna buy ourselves a jellyfish. And we're gonna go to our dice pool, and we're gonna see what exactly. Okay, movement and one movement to spell, which is just strictly worse than Mammoth Graveyard. So uh, yeah, not really worth using. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. So then, we'll be starting with the Sacrificial Guillotine next time? But, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. weird thing to have just lying around.